As a music major, you might need to check out books, scores, and media for your classes and performances. The music library has many of these materials. The trick is finding them. When you're looking for items in the music library, use the library catalog, not the search bar on our homepage. This search bar is for casting a wide net when you want to search across everything in the ECU library collections and also our databases. A link to the catalog can be found below this search bar. On the music library site, we link directly to the advanced search page, which we recommend for finding music. From here, you can combine various search terms like author, title, a general keyword, and subject. Using a composer's last name in the subject line will get you a more precise set of results if you're looking for books about that composer. With this search, I'm putting Brahms and symphonies in the subject search line. This will essentially get me all books about Brahms' symphonies. Notice that I get eight results. This is good. If I had searched Brahms symphonies in the title or all fields line, I get hundreds of results because it's searching everywhere for the words Brahms and symphonies, retrieving scores, CDs, and books that may have something to do with Brahms or symphonies. At any point after performing your search, you can limit your results further by using the filters on the left-hand side. As you're browsing the results, you get a basic overview of each item. Details like the title, format, if it's available or checked out, and the call number, which is what you would need to find it on the library shelves. Once you see an item in your results that looks relevant to you, click the hyperlink title to open the page for this item. The item page gives you important information, like when it was published, how many pages it has, as well as an indication of which library has it, where it's located in that library, along with the call number. Also be sure to click the header in black that says more information about this title. Here you might find a listing of chapters and a summary of what the book is about. For scores, you might get information about the edition or instrumentation. Back up top, notice the group of links beside the subject category. These are called subject headings. Every item in the catalog has subject headings, telling you what the item is or what it's about. If it's a score of a piano sonata, it will have Sonata's Piano as a subject heading. If it's a book about Beethoven, it will have a heading for Beethoven. Think of them like hashtags. When you click these hyperlinked headings, you're taken to a results page with all items that have been assigned that heading. This can make your research so much faster and easier. It's a way to instantly find other books on the same subject or other scores of the same genre or instrumentation. Want to see all wind quintets, either on recording or available as a score? Click the subject heading. Back to the catalog itself, here are some pro tips for searching our catalog wisely. Omit filler words and articles like the, an, a, of, and. It sounds ridiculous, I know, but these can throw off your search in a library catalog. Unlike Google, our library catalog doesn't handle a long string of keywords very well. It's better to use fewer words that capture the essence of your topic. Do not treat our catalog like Google when you're looking for music. Searching for violin sonata number no. 3 in E major BWV 1016 works for Google, but not for the catalog. Why? Because our catalog doesn't have powerful algorithms. Your search terms have to match words either appearing in the title of the score, the exact way the composer's name is written on the score, words found in the table of contents, or words matching the subject heading. Keep in mind we have music published by all sorts of non-English publishers, like German, Russian, or Italian. 
That language difference might be reflected in a certain addition of a score. Our only addition of Bach's third violin sonata may have a title in German. Recognize that spellings of composer names vary according to the language and transliteration. Tchaikovsky can be spelled in the following ways. To get around this, utilize subject headings. Since subject headings work like hashtags, the heading for Tchaikovsky will be the same for every item, no matter what language it's in. When looking for a piece of music with an opus number or thematic catalog number, reduce your search term to the number only. Do not type OP. Instead, just put the opus number, or K number, or BWV number, in by itself. Again, because that won't always appear on the title of a score. The title might have opus spelled out, or OP without a period. When you have an opus and a number, like opus 31 number 2, just put the opus number in. Again, no OP. You can sort through your results manually to look for number 2. Don't enter the key of a piece in your search unless it's the only identifier you have to distinguish it. Again, because the score may be German and have F dur, not F major, or F majeur if it's a French edition, use the opus or thematic catalog number instead. Use subject heading searches for types of resources, like bibliographies, encyclopedias, or biographies. Combine those terms with one keyword, like a composer's name. Looking for an arrangement of a certain piece? Put arranged in the subject line, along with other keywords to find that piece. Looking for a score with parts? Enter parts in the subject line when you're searching for a certain piece. When searching for a specific art song, aria, or any classical work, use only the most important words of the song or name of the work. Look for the song or piece listed in the contents note, which I showed you earlier. Again, you can find it on the item page under more information. Whatever terms you used in your search will be highlighted here. You can also press Ctrl F or Command F on Macs to look for the song or work. If you're a singer, it is absolutely crucial to look at the contents to find the song or aria you want. Because most of our scores for songs are not single pieces of sheet music. They are anthologies or collections of songs. Use all the techniques I mentioned in this video and you should have an easier time with the library catalog. If you do need assistance with finding resources in the music library, don't hesitate to ask a music library. Just visit our website, click Get Help from the menu bar at the top, and you can see all the ways to contact us. We'll be glad to help.